Hello everyone and welcome to Razzle. This is Alan here uh, bringing you a new video, a new venture, a new idea that we're uh, working on. Uh, as many of you may know, uh, my favorite TV show of all time is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I've talked about it quite a bit. Um, and what I wanted to do here is something I've actually wanted to do for a long time. I want to rank every episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And on top of that, I want to rank every character in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy is a incredibly inspirational show to me. It's a show that's helped shape my life. I did a whole video on it, which I'll include a link to, uh, so you can definitely check that out. And with that, I'd like to introduce my uh, my guest, uh, Zachary Maurer, uh, co-host of Razzlecast, co-creator of Razzle. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm Zach Maurer. Nice to be here talking about Buffy, a show that I've come to late but uh, really enjoy. Uh, can't seem to get over the hump of season five, but, uh, yeah. that's not because the show's not quality. It's just, uh, yeah. I'm bad you, at you, watching. You've watched up to season, up to part of season five. You watched some mm. of season five. Yeah. You haven't finished the show yet. And you're currently on a watch through with your wife where you're on season four, four? episode four. Um, I've watched the whole show up to season five once. And then I've watched the first two seasons four times. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> you might have watched the first season more than I have. Yeah. Um, so uh, I won't be spoiling anything for you, and that's uh, mostly because I won't be spoiling anything uh, for anybody. Um, and that actually will bring me to the rules of how, how we're going to do this. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to be ranking every episode in the entire series. Um, I'm also going to be placing them in tiers, which I'll go over at the end when we're actually you know ranking them. Um, no spoilers, as I was saying. So uh, I'm not going to spoil anything that happens past the episode that I had, to the best of my ability. For the ranking of episodes, two-part episodes will be ranked individually. So uh, this first two episodes of the show are kind of one thing, uh, Welcome to the Hellmouth and uh, The Harvest. Uh, but I'm going to be ranking them as individual episodes. Characters. Uh, I'm going to rank every character that appears in at least two episodes. Um, and I only will start ranking them that way once we see them in their second episode. With the exception of this first video here, because we'll only be one episode in. So I'll just rank every character that I know will appear in more than one episode. Characters are based on their appearance to that point in the series. So I'm not going to be taking into account any of their future arcs. For you guys, rules. Uh, the comment section will contain spoilers. Uh, you're allowed to spoil anything you want in the comments. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, if you haven't seen the show, if you're watching it with me and it's the first time that you're watching it, use discretion. Don't go in there if you don't want spoilers. If you don't care, go ahead and look in there. If somebody comments there and says that they haven't finished the show, don't be a jerk and comment on there with spoilers. That's just mean. Uh, speaking of mean, uh, the comment section is for discussion, not hate. Uh, I don't want somebody to go in there like I might have a different opinion than you. You might have a different opinion than somebody else who comments. Be respectful. So, yeah, I think we can go. We can go right into it. Let's do it. I think this is the first time I'm actually going to be watching an episode of Buffy with you. I think so. Like, I, I yeah. told you to watch the show. Like, I was, like, the driving force. But Correct. I don't think I've actually watched an episode with you. I just, uh, this is the beginning of a very tumultuous uh, set of events for Sunnydale High School. Right? <laughs> so she's definitely selling the damsel in distress thing. And there we go. First first vampire kill there we go great theme song absolutely one of our first prophetic slayer dream sequences Hi highly used <laughs> excellent plot device all I right 90s. 90s here we go school schools and shows and movies always look way more chaotic <laughs> they always look bigger my school they do look like that and California high schools where they get to like walk outside during the day is like whoa. And honey, <laughs> I'm jealous. Turn the kick down. Here we see Xander on his skateboard for the only time in the series. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the Xander we know would not like skateboarding. <laughs> Willow. You're still very much the person I wanted to see. You know, I kind of had a problem with the mask. Uh, oh, which part? The mask. <laughs> so, is Buffy coming in in the middle of a school year? No, I don't think so. Because how would he have problem with math if it was the first day? Yeah, you're right. I'm I mean, just wondering. Just, I'm just wondering. Just aware of his problems before they start. Have not watched season one in a while. His name is Bill Flutie, but I always want to say Doug Flutie. Former quarterback. Of the Bills, I believe. Bob. 
Or it's Bob, Bob not Bill. Yep. You got My roasted bad. there. The adults in Sunnydale kind of remind me of the adults in Derry, where they're just like <laughs> totally oblivious. Yeah. Not a good save. <laughs> not a good <laughs> save. Let's appreciate Buffy's boots for a second. I was about like... to say the same thing about her <laughs> boots, if I'm being honest. Xander's got to help the lady. Uh, Xander. Xander. Uh, can I help you? It was nice to meet you. I can't imagine that any real person oh, would have ever talked hey. to him again. <laughs> you got your... I'm thinking about me personally, and I don't know if I would call like I'd be like your steak. Oh, I don't stick. Yeah. And there's Cordelia. Steve. And there was the introduction of Steve, ever important character. No. See. I love this test of coolness because it's so dated. That nail polish. Um, over? So, over. <laughs> James Fader. <laughs> James Fader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well, my mom just said. No wonder you're such a guy magnet. Are you done? <sighs> oh. Cordy. And if you're not too swamped with catching up, you should come by the bronze tonight. The who? The bronze. It's the, the bronze. It's your club that does whatever the plot needs it to. <laughs> yes. Well, Sunnydale is the ultimate plot <laughs> machine. We don't have a whole lot of town here. We don't have a lot of town unless we need it to. <laughs> and here we get one of the creepiest introductions. <laughs> Local boy's still missing. Circled in red. <laughs> Followed by a tap on the shoulder. <laughs> this is the worst. This talk. Neg. Neg. Neg Lee. <laughs> Pause. Neg. <laughs> Neg Lee. Neg Willow, right? Why? I, I mean, hi. Aw, oh, Will. Do you want me to move? Why don't we start with, hi, I'm Buffy. And uh, then let's segue directly into me asking you for favor. It doesn't involve moving, but it does involve hanging out with me for a while. But aren't you hanging out with Cordelia? I can't do both. Not legally. <laughs> Good line. Yeah. I kind of have this burning desire not to flunk all my classes, and I heard a rumor that you were the person to talk to if I wanted to get caught up. Oh, I could totally help you out. I wonder if this would be seen as her taking advantage of her. Or not. A little bit. But I also love <laughs> Willow's excitement about it. I, she's just so positive about everything. <laughs> Jesse and Xander? I was going to say Jesse. Yeah, you just keep talking, don't you, Xander? Well, it's nice to meet you guys. I think. Oh, you know, we want to be <laughs> <laughs> That face says it all. So what do you do for fun? What do you like? What do you explain to man? Let's hear it. If you have any dark, painful secrets you'd like to tell me. Jeez. <laughs> it's more, more cringy than I remember. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched this a few times. I, the men in this first season are a little cringier than you remember, I think. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Jim was canceled due to the extreme dead guy in the locker. Are we assuming that shit didn't happen in Sunnydale before Buffy came, or that no, people just ignored it? Happened. She's still less worried than you'd think. Plus, they still have school right now, so I think that they're right. like, this is still like a normal thing. This happens, right? But it's still like, hey, Jim's canceled. Like, I guess the reaction was Buffy wouldn't have expected that stuff to happen here. Yes. Right, okay, that makes sense. The first view of Buffy's superpowers, other than her <laughs> psychic uh, dreams. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. At this point, we haven't seen her with any sort of superpowers whatsoever. Oh, great. You heard about the dead guy, right? The dead guy in the locker? Yes. 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 <laughs> Continues to be the creepiest guy. <laughs> I love their interactions. It's my first Even this first or second one. I was one. afraid that I was going to be behind in all my classes that I wouldn't make any friends. Behind in classes, not first day of school. I, don't... I didn't think that. Did he will he rise again? Who? The boy. The boy. This is 
this is just for us, but it seems weird that Buffy is explaining to him. Why am I still talking to you? Because the audience is the audience needs information. You think it's cool? Think a bit in the history of this place. You'll find a child. Oh, how excited he gets! <laughs> Incubi. Anthony Stewart heads uh, treasure. Yeah, he was the first one they cast. Was he? Okay. Yep. I love that's the first little glimpse of like, yeah, we get along. Look at that. It's like falling off a log. Which is a weird. Is that a saying? No. <laughs> I think that one's more successful than Neg and Paws. Neg Lee. There's a library, and he probably should have known somebody was in the library. I... <laughs> Their security in the library is not always great, honestly. I also can't imagine a teacher putting his hand on a student and pushing her to a wall. It looks like they're having a lover's <laughs> quarrel. Like, it's... Can you vague that up for me needs to be something that I put into my daily vocabulary. Come on. This is Sunnydale. How badly will can I be? Cut. Oh no, it it does though. You're you're on the right page. Oh, okay, we're going underground. Cause that that's a classic Buffy transition there. Yep. Do we think the sleeper will wake? <laughs> the sleeper will wake. That's kind of what this villain does though. He just keeps repeating things a lot. I think I have a puka shell necklace. Does that vampire have a puka shell ne <laughs> necklace? Yeah, I'm going to a club. Oh, will there be boys there? No, mom. It's a nun's club. Well, just be careful. A club that may or may not serve alcohol. That is all behind us now. It is. From now on, I'm only going to hang out with women. I mean, likely. She, she's I know it's not been that long that she's been a slayer, but... <laughs> yeah, she's not good at this. The character that we're going to get into introduced to here is going to be very hard to stay away from spoilers, but we're going to do our best. Have you ever walked into an alley and heard a cat caterwaul or whatever? <laughs> I haven't. I don't I, I guess I don't live near a lot of stray cats though. I feel like maybe Sunnydale's got a bunch of stray cats. Whoa, who is this guy? It's Bones. Is he Bones? <laughs> no, or is, is I don't think he, I never she's Bones. Bones. <laughs> He's not Bones. I've never watched Bones. <laughs> How about that? Tree, that, that velour jacket. fucking jacket. <laughs> oh, it's got pockets on the inside. Right. <laughs> if this was like any other show, I'd be like, he's got a gun! <laughs> that's not this episode. That's next episode. Who are you? Let's just say. I'm a friend. So that's a friend. Cool we, too. we just met. I'm a friend. Yeah, That was a nice gift. <laughs> what if he was just trying to convert her to Christianity? What if, what right. if that's all he was? <laughs> She's like, he's like, why did you kick me? What the hell? I don't actually date a whole lot lately. Why not? Well, when I'm with a boy I like, it's hard for me to say anything cool or, or witty or at all. I, I can usually make a few vowel sounds and then I have to go away. <laughs> not that bad. Allison Hannigan's a national treasure. If I waste time being all shy and worrying about some guy and if he's going to last me, seize the moment, because tomorrow you might be dead. But her drink doesn't have alcohol in it. Or it does. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. You don't have to come back. I'll be back. Oh, she so... like, melts my heart. Yeah, that, that, that hurts. Oh, would you like to party with the students? Am I kind of skanky? Oh, right. It's me having fun. Watching clothes here. Clown hair. It just really looks like they're lovers. If people were on the outside of this and saw both fights, they'd be like, Somebody okay. should be calling. Yeah. <laughs> this is way too close. And Joss has even <laughs> talked about that on the on the commentary. He really puts it all on black here. <laughs> like, he does. She must be having that. I really hope she's having <laughs> She's just like, I've never had a nightmare in my life. I sleep perfectly fine at night. Ugh. <laughs> I, 
here's the thing. Cordelia is clearly supposed to be the mean girl, but, like, based off of the way that she Fine. described him, Plenty other fish in the sea. like, as her stalker, and then, like, the way that, yeah. like, he can't expect a different answer. No. Well, good on him for trying. Me and yeah. Good for just being, like, chill about it. Not everybody reacts that nicely to rejection. No, Jesse seems harmless, you know? I love that delivery. <laughs> but you didn't. Home. Oh, no. oh, my willow. Not my no, willow. willow. She's seizing the day, Buffy. This is your fault. She should be honing right now. She's not honing enough. <laughs> that face. Cordelia, Obviously. I didn't find them. The vampire is not dead. Just well, I mean, it. technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. So what do we do? What a reveal. No, I haven't seen you around before. You from around here? No, but I have family here. I have family here. The sleeping the sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's Puka Shell's name? They didn't Luke. say it, right? Oh, okay. Luke. I, Man, look at that. Look at that. Green screen. <laughs> Nothing like a good force field keeping you in. Mark Metcalf was probably perfect for this role. Do you have Mr. Chomsky for history? <laughs> uh, the ice Willow, you're, <laughs> Willow, you're smarter than this. Oh, oh, hey, I hope he's not a vampire because then you might have to slay him. It's a was weird way of saying that, Xander. A school bulletin that was, was in a newspaper? Is there anyone in this town who doesn't know? Well, if you're yelling like that. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just tell me, where would Willow go? Good theory. If we don't find yeah. her, then there's gonna be one more dead body in the morning. Hey, have you been in one of these? <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you. You ever been in one of those? No, have you? <laughs> I don't I think, think so. Go. Oh, it's Darla. Is it hey, hello. <laughs> I love how he's still chasing her after yeah. this bit. <laughs> he's like, hey, I don't want to miss out. <laughs> what are we doing in here, guys? You're not going anywhere until we... <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work as well. Until we... <laughs> it's a little bare, but adapt the cage, a few throw pillows, call it home. Who the hell are you? you mean this is uh, this Buffy at Pure Spider-Man. Buffy, we bail now. Not yet. <laughs> You're making the decision. <laughs> so what was the movie was going for? I don't know. I, you have to stab them in the heart, right? Yes. But I feel like they stab them in all different places, and it just... Uh, I, I'm guessing vampires' hearts are in different areas of their chest. <laughs> somewhere vaguely in the chest area. Who are you? Don't you know? Oh no. Luke don't care. You can stop me. Not even scared. Stop us. It would really suck if you're a vampire and it like wasn't in the heart, it was just anywhere and you like got a little splinter. <laughs> it's like ah like a plague of boils. That was a dusting. Got it. <laughs> he's very confident he's gonna kill her because he's just telling him the whole plan here. Cool. I mean, he's pretty confident. I he's think like, he I'm left. Fine. I think he left. Yeah, he de it's fine. He left. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and that's be the whole series. Continued. That's it. The whole they only did one episode. One episode of the whole show. Okay, so that was uh, season one, episode one. Welcome to the hell now. Just the best because... episode we've seen, I think. It's the worst episode of the entire series so far. So you can see here, uh, ranking the episodes, uh, you've got the best episodes, great episodes, good episodes, forgettable episodes, bad episodes, and worst episodes. Uh, I ranked this uh, as a good episode. I don't think it's a great episode. Uh, it's certainly good in terms of being a pilot, in my opinion. Uh, pilots are difficult. Um, but I'd say it's good. It's not great. It's definitely not one of the best. But I definitely wouldn't put it in a forgettable or, or bad episode.
I think I agree with you. If this was a normal episode, it might be a little more forgettable. Mm -hmm. But because it's the pilot, I think there is some inherent value in that. There's some inherent importance. Uh, And I I think it does a good job of setting up the world and setting up the characters. You understand motivations. You understand that there's a backstory that we may or may not learn more about. Uh, I think it's a bit clunky in doing those things. Like, you know, how we mentioned that, oh, well, why would they be having this conversation? But, you know, those things do kind of have to happen. They have to world build. Right. I mean... It seems kind of dumb to us because we've already seen the show, but like, you know, to somebody who is watching it for the first time, you need to know why that person's not going to be a vampire. Back when this first came out, this wasn't necessarily the bona fide rules for vampire dumb, but for me, like, Buffy vampire rules are the rules that, like, I would think as vampire rules. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's interesting, you know? Like, it's sort of setting up its own. It's not what's definitely setting up its own world, but it's also setting up almost its own lore, and that's not always easy, though. I think I've got a clear favorite for who I think the best character for this episode is. Okay, just based off of how I was viewing it, but I want—I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I don't know. I this episode is very Buffy heavy, um, mm-hmm. but for me, Willow is always kind of a shining star. Yeah, you know. Um, so that's what—that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I honestly think like. She's probably the uh, the MVP of the episode. Buffy obviously lower than yeah. I was gonna do that. Buffy Summers. Uh, I have her lower than Willow, but I just, still think she's I would just write them down them and then we can move them around. Well, I would just figure we just do one character at a time and I can just insert them above and below whoever they need to be. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so Xander, Xander probably lower than Buffy. I'd put Xander below Buffy. Yeah. Uh, I would actually put Cordy above Xander. Xander's a little cringy in this episode. Yeah. And Cord- Cordy, I like how they set up Cordy as sort of a domestic villain, you know? Yep. Rupert Giles. I'm going to put him just below Buffy, but above Cordelia, do you think? Um, He does not have a lot. I think Cordy has yeah, but more, I, I think but it's not about he... quantity. It's more about quality. I'm fine with that. The Master. Master's got to be low, right? Because like the master's I like his so couple lines, but like we don't know anything about him. Yet. Right, like, he's I would kind... put him in a forgettable character section. Correct, yeah. Luke, I'd put above the master, and above Xander. More... You would put Luke above Xander. No, I'd put Darla above Xander. I'd put Luke below Xander. Where would you put Darla? The first scene super intriguing. The the conversation with Jesse is super menacing. Yeah. But then there's also points where she's, like, really kind of, like, which is, like, not until we fit. And it's, like, that looks a little bit dumb. And her, her her getting just beat up by Buffy really quick makes her seem like she's much less of a threat. I'm fine with that. But, um, we could put her right, we could put her right above Luke. Uh, Flutie. I mean, he's... I like him. I'd put him above the I'd master. I'd put him above the master. He has a... And, and maybe Luke. Luke wants to put him above Luke, too, yeah. I, I actually so like funny in the little bit that we see. Yeah, and I I like his moments there. I think they're they're so, I, I think they're solid. Yeah, Joyce. I would put. I think Joyce has almost nothing in this episode. Yeah, I'd put her probably last. Not no. The master has almost nothing too, but like, yeah, he still has like that like little bit of like cheeriness and he still looks cool this is such a joyce is unimportant episode like i feel like joyce yeah. honestly doesn't have much to bring I, i'm gonna put joyce below the master jesse sort of interesting jesse i think is more interesting than xander in this episode i'd put him just below xander but i don't know you want to try to swing are you me? are you taking into effect what we know about xander i mean jesse has the, the the interactions with cordelia he has interactions with darla Xander just has still more to do i mean jesse gets bit you know yeah i'll do it i'll, I'll, I'll I, it to you. listen jesse you don't a, does jesse have a last name that we know? no jesse doesn't have a last name uh, listed on uh imdb so okay Jesse McNally. Just kidding. Not a, not the last name I would have thought Jesse had, if I'm being honest. Nope. Willow Rosenberg to me is uh, actually we're gonna we're gonna do him in tears now, uh, too. Willow for me is actually best character. Correct. In like in in the best character category, she's she has the heart of the episode, sort of, mm-hmm. and 
she's clearly the motivation for Buffy to get off mm-hmm. her ass, proverbially, you know, and 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 yeah. go and and so I I would agree with you, and I she just I has would, a, a sense of levity. Everything she does like really speaks to her character and what she is, and you immediately get the grasp for like I know who this character is. Moving on to number two, Buffy. I would put her right at the cusp of either great or best is where I'd put her right now. I would see I'd have her at great or good. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have her towards best. Mm-hmm. So I mean if we're if we're splitting hairs, I guess we go great. Okay. Some of these also these will change around. They will. The show. Yeah. Cause uh, I, but in in one episode, yeah, I'd probably put her in the, either great yeah, I'd put her in great category. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think it's necessarily a character issue. Uh, you know, I would say she's great actually because I just thought of something and that that makes her a, a great character is that this episode she sort of feels very lost and that's the point, you know. And, yeah. and so it feels like she's sort of flip flopping back between what she wants and that's sort of the point of what her character is going through. I, you know, I, I I'm fine with great. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't think that we've gotten enough to really get fully invested in her character yet. Uh, but I still think, you know, as the main character, as the through line, she does a great job. She carries the episode. Uh, Rupert Giles, I think good. I'd say good. I don't think he's, I don't think he's ever bad. In, he's not bad. Point. He's not he's regrettable. I wouldn't say he's necessarily great yet. And But I, yeah. I, I, I would go with good, personally. His relationship with Buffy um, and his call to action, you know, his his necessary, his, his, the way that you feel like he cares, like what's going on. I, I appreciate Giles, and I, I think this does a good job of setting him up. I'm not willing to say that Cordelia Chase is forgettable, so I think she's also going to be in the good category. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. I, I, I think that she's certainly one of the more memorable parts of the episode. She just doesn't have a lot to do. We don't know a lot about her character yet, but I like her as the bad girl. It's the high school. She's the high school aspect of high school. You know, mm-hmm. she's the mean girl in high school that you don't want to deal with. She's she's Buffy's foil when it comes to being in school. And and that's important. And that's sort of the vibe they're setting up. Um you know, it's 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 a classic story, you know, where she goes to school and they're friends at first, but that doesn't always work out. Moving on to Jesse. Uh, I like Jesse in this episode. I don't know. He had a lot of, like, uh, sort of almost humor to him. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot of people, pitchforks down, that are going to be a little bit upset that, like, Jesse gets put above Xander. Uh, which we'll talk about, I think, when we get to this Xander. Is not Just, a, uh, this is not a series this list. Is, this, this is the first is episode off of uh welcome to the Hellmouth, uh but i think that there's some interesting things that they have done with jesse so far the way that he interacts with xander the way that he interacts with cordelia those are really the two characters he really gets to interact with i find him very interesting to watch so i'm yeah. gonna list him i would list him as good i don't know if you're in the same boat i would say both jesse and xander are good in this episode they both bring a sort of playful nature which i think is really mm-hmm. needed and helps lighten up a show about teenagers dying with xander uh I I would say Xander is forgettable unless you're taking into account when he's like immediately going to go and protect Willow even when he doesn't think these things are real. Mm-hmm. Like that without that moment at the end where he runs with Buffy to the crypt, I think Xander's forgettable. He doesn't have a lot of de- we don't know anything about any of these characters yet, right. really. I mean we only really know about Buffy. Uh we get a little bit of Willow um because of just you know seeing her personality and that's where we kind of like start to infer more about willow and we get you know she explains some of her relationship with xander but like we don't really know a lot about anybody yet xander it's tough because we don't know anything about him yet we just know he's interested in buffy and he's awkward if you are talking about forgettable do you then make the cutoff here and make darla the first forgettable character or is darla still in the good category so if it wasn't for the beginning of the episode i think darla's forgettable Mm-hmm. But Darla's the first, the first vampire we see, mm-hmm. and Darla is the, our, it's it's she's our introduction into this world. I like that first scene so much, yeah, and I think that it's so integral, integral into you know the show, into showing what the show is. I would list her as a good character on the cusp of forgettable. I agree. Okay, then we can move to uh, Principal Bob Flutie. Or Bill, as I accidentally said during right. the episode. Uh, Doug Flutie, I would say he's a forgettable <laughs> character. Mm-hmm. Uh, some nice moments, but not but enough yet. 
Only really because he has, I think, one scene. He just has the scene in the principal's office. Right. It's a good scene. Uh, the taping back of the of the permit That's record, good. whatever it is, is, yeah. is really kind of fun. Um, but he doesn't have much to do. I think um, if you sat down in front of a t- in front of a TV in 1997, right? Or mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah. I don't think people are talking about Flutie after the episode. Oh, uh, we forgot to put a friend in here below Darla ahead of Flutie. I would agree. I would agree, and here's – people are going to be really mad at me. I don't know if he's necessarily good because he doesn't have a lot. I'm putting him also as forgettable. Okay, cool. He has a very minimal part. We don't even have a name for him. It's David Boreanaz, so if you're watching the show today, that means something, but at the time it meant nothing. Right. We have this guy who gave her a cross. We don't even know why. I mean – because at this point we don't even know Crosses what a cross could do. Do anything. Yeah. It's evangelizing. We had a guy who was evangelizing. That's yeah. literally all so, we've seen. I almost barely remember that he's in the episode. He's almost in it because he's going to be important. Luke. Also forgettable. I don't think that he's bad. You know what it is? Uh Brian Thompson's voice is just really good. Brian so Thompson's just, voice like, is really good. I just like how he sounds. And he's got that like lip curl thing where he's like <laughs> I can't do it, but he's like um, He's got like a lip curl. But still a forgettable character. Well, is the master a bad character? I don't think that we've seen enough to even suggest what he is. I and think for that, I think yeah. we can only put forgettable. Correct. I have more to say about Joyce. So yes. The master uh, to me is just a classic setup. That's kind of all it is. And so like we don't know enough to say he's bad yet or if he's good yet or if he's great. Saying Joyce is forgettable is accurate. But Mm. saying Joyce is bad, there's a question for it. Because in this, she's sort of just very cliche. I I don't know. I'm just throwing it out. What do you think? For the sake of this, I still would probably put her as a forgettable character and not bad. I don't think it's fair to say someone's a... Listen, I was saying she might be bad. I don't necessarily think it's fair to say someone's a bad character after the first episode. That's... That's the characters then. The best characters uh, tier, which has just one in it right now, is Willow Rosenberg, uh, who I would probably call the MVP of the episode, which I might just do. I might just start naming MVPs of episodes. MVP. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Like I said, this is all based on just one uh, one episode. So going forward, these are definitely going to move around a bit. I think I can make these lists available as a view only. So I should be able to put the description, uh, a link to these in the description. So you can always follow along with where we're at. The episode list is right here. Um, Welcome to Hellmouth, a good episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I plan on doing a bunch more of these. Zach, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Is there anywhere that people can find you uh, other than your channel? uh yeah obviously find me here like you just said on razzle but um you can also follow me on twitter at i am mauer follow me on uh instagram at i am mauer as well uh and check me out on twitch be streaming on twitch a little more and that's twitch.tv slash t swifty so awesome and yeah you like i said you guys can keep finding me here you can find me on twitter at alan havens a-l-a-n-h-a-v-e-n-s Um, And I look forward to bringing you guys more of these Uh, next episode, season one, episode two, The Harvest. So uh, we'll see you there. Have a good one. Neg. Neg. Neg Lee. Lee. 